Hey guys, welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorials. I, we're, we're sorry that we haven't been making a lot of videos for you guys. I know it's been about three months. We've been really busy with school and stuff. I know it's summer, but we uh, we do have plans during the summer as well. So we are very sorry for that. And uh, hopefully we will start making a lot more uh, Photoshop tutorials over uh, this year. Anyways, this is a tutorial on how to make a 3D cube. If you guys don't know me, I'm twitter.com slash the apple freak or youtube.com slash the apple freak and I have a lot of, I had a lot of requests in making a 3d um, a 3d cube anyways let's just start off with making a new document I will choose 512 by 512 that's the default um, icon size anyways so we have a regular blank canvas now first off let's just make a rectangle any size rectangle remember to hold shift to make a proper um, nice rectangle or square sorry anyways after you have one go up to edit transform then perspective what this does is as you can see it just it's just a really cool tool that you can use anyways here is the side of it um, just make it to your own or your size that you want. Anyways, let's just do, I'm gonna duplicate this just by dragging, and I'm going to move this just like that, and uh, have a 3D cube already. You just can't really see it that well because it's white. We just add a black background here. Now, as you can see, it is a 3D cube. Um, if you and after that, all you just need to do is customize it to your liking. Um, just double click on the layer for uh, the layer style and blending options. I'm sorry. And let's just add a gradient overlay. Um, no, I'll just do this. Just because I have it for default. Uh, let's see. And if you guys want to see the outline right here, you can add a stroke to it. A black stroke or something and make the size to one pixel and that's pretty much it guys um, let me just show you what you can also do uh, you can add text to it so using that transform uh, perspective tool let me just do Adobe Wizards a W sorry my Mac is really slow right now anyways you can use any type of font of course obviously I'll just use the font that I already had and size it up and like I said edit transform perspective but uh, I need to rasterize the layer sorry about that that's right it's type then edit transform perspective then you can just customize you know just like that to make it look 3d and what you can also do to make it better is add a drop shadow um, and it just looks really good and anyways, that's just a quick way to make a 3D cube. I know you can do a lot more if you want to. And you can use this as an icon for your Twitter account, YouTube account, anything that you want it to be an icon for. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys.